Hello, and welcome to the Locker Room Proposal 2020 by the Locker Lads for the Engineering Design and Development class. Here is our problem statement for the Locker Lads. Male staff, students, and coaches at St. Thomas More High School are using an outdated, unorganized, and overall inefficient locker room for sports and other events. 83% of faculty and staff look for a simpler locker room design. A design that is needed is one that is focused on space, size, and durability for future generations of St. Thomas More High School students. Introduction and Constraints The Locker Lads had taken on this task to fix the locker room on September 12, 2019. Additional constraints given to us by the Ladith Director included larger lockers, varsity lockers for in-season sports and other features such as storage capabilities. The team had spent many hours developing the final design of this locker room that will be presented today, and the redesign each room and section of the locker room has been updated with new features and equipment. Research and Development on the left hand of the screen, you see legal, health and safety, and on the right, you see technical and education, which are topics revolving around the new solution for the locker room. And in the middle, you can see the graph showing questions and answers from faculty and staff at St. Thomas More High School revolving around space, size, durability, and overall functionality of the locker room. The biggest concern going into the locker room was privacy, smell, and the abuse and or bullying that was possibly happening in the locker room, which were taken into consideration in the new design. Here is the decision matrix, which was created using eight floor plans and specifications, including economical design, open concept, two shower rooms, two team locker rooms, one general locker room, storage space, realistic design, use of space provided, and time. And they were rated on a scale of one to six and floor plan three with a score of 42 had been chosen as the final design. Here is a similar solution matrix to ensure that each component going into the new locker room was the best it could be. This team had used a similar solution matrix to decide which components should be placed within the locker room. And those components included a locker organizer, locking system, a system itself, the layout of the lockers, a layout method or a locker method, shower head, locker seat, and locker vents. These are taken from experts listed on the bottom and they were ranked on a scale of one to five with specifications in compatibility, time, cost of product, overall design, performance, convenience, sustainability, style, quality, usability, efficiency, and it was tallied up to a total score. More research. One, once the team had developed and reached a final decision on components, each component then needed to be researched. Each component was researched on rank, dimensions, and value, values, and pricing. Each ranked item on this list is a design requirement used in the making of the final design. In the image on the far left, you have the design requirements, such as the team two locker rooms, the general locker room, open concept. In the middle, you have the dimensions of those requirements and of those uh, different design elements and components. And then you have pricing on the far right. Here's the development. During the development, the team researched new ideas and components to be used in the boys' locker room at St. Thomas More High School. In the new redesigned locker room, the locker room will have new features, components, and other gadgets that will make the locker room a better place and more a functional place. Through the development phase and the redesigning process, the team needed to make sketches of potential solutions. Each member needed to make 20 sketches of possible solutions. The sketches listed are the ones that were considered in the final design. Here is the shower dividing wall, which allows airflow that does not trap steam or water and will stop the growth of mildew and mold, which is currently a huge problem in the current locker room design. Here is the varsity lockers. We have a sit-in locker with storage, a seat, a large opening, vents, a hook, and shelf. These will be used for in-season athletes such as football and soccer in the main team locker room. The vents offer better space and also better airflow for football equipment and equipment used by students. Here are the double stacked wide lockers with vents and a better locking system for better security within the locker room. The lockers offer a wider area and a deeper area for students to place their backpacks and equipment. Here are the final sketches of the development phase. These show exactly what were the components going into the final locker room design. These sketches were part of the final 20 that were going into the final design. Over the next course of a couple of slides, you will see other sketches compared like these. Here is the development rough final sketch. This was a 
the very first rough sketch of the entire team putting their final ideas together into one solid sketch of the storage and football storage be on the left side of the sketch or the left side of your screen. The general locker room and the second team locker room being on the top of your screen or the top of the sketch. We have our bathrooms, our two shower rooms, a secondary bathroom that will be used at all times for the team locker room, the main team locker room. We have the coaches and teachers locker room. We have the film room and the new updated bathroom for the coaches locker room. Here is the final design sketch on isometric graph paper to bring the sketch to life and have a more 3D view. Here is the Revit final design. The Locker Lads had completed the design on November 11, 2019. The Locker Lads created the new design with keeping in mind the original constraints and other components to make this locker room functional. The team will go more in depth with each section during the presentation moving forward. Here is the final design floor plan. As you can see, we have the storage and football storage all the way going to the varsity lockers room on the far left. We have the bathrooms, the shower areas, both the general and the second team locker room. The new uh, Mr. Clary's office, which is located down here on the bottom half of the screen, which is circled in yellow, as well as the film room and coach's room. Here is the final 3D view of the design uh, in Revit. Here is a storage center. The storage center will house many different storage cabinets and shelves for the most functionality. The storage center will be used for all sports, including football, soccer, and basketball. Football will take most of the main storage center up. The second room will then be remodeled to fit new storage equipment. The second storage center will be used for other sports that do not require a massive amount of space to store equipment. Here is the first team locker room. Uh, the first team locker room will be used for in-season sports. The first team locker room will house new varsity lockers. The first team locker room will be placed with direct access to the basketball court above. Here is the general locker room and the second team locker room. The general locker room will be placed before the second team locker room for easy access. Both locker rooms will offer students a double stacked and wider locker for students to be able to use to store more equipment and supplies. Placement for both of these locker rooms are important. More space for students and athletes who need it are available within both locker rooms. Here are the shower rooms. The original shower room will be divided into two separate rooms. The shower rooms will be separated by a shower wall. Each shower room will be housed with two shower heads, allowing for more shower heads per one spigot. Each shower room will have drying racks for students to use, as well as offer more privacy with curtains and dividing walls. Here is the coach's locker room. The coach's locker room will house an array of new equipment for the coach's use. The locker room will also receive an updated bathroom. The locker room will also receive a new television system for the coach's use. Otherwise, there is not much changing within the locker room itself, within the coach's locker room. Here is the new coach's office. The coach's office will be the place where Mr. Clary will be able to oversee the locker room. The office will have a nice desk space as well as storage cards for Mr. Clary to use. The new office is not in the original spot, but will take up the portion of the team two locker room here is mr clary's old office which has now become the new film room the new film room will replace mr clary's office as i said the film room will be used for teams and sports the film room will have a tablet and computer capability to show film for all sports here circled in yellow is the tablet and computer capability and the room will be equipped with a smart board and whiteboard in the front of the screen as you see here as I circled in yellow again. Here is the budget. This was a budget created in 2019 which was the initial budget. The budget goal was 25000 which was able to be changed uh, as Mr. Hoke said, the athletic director. In this budget which will be broken down in the next slide you can see we have components, cost, the estimated count, the total cost, and where we found these supplies. Currently the redesigned locker room is currently placed at $51,458.66, which can be seen here. The current calculated budget can be amended to a different amount if need be. Here is the budget being broken down. On the far left of your screen, you can see the components such as the varsity lockers, the double stacked wide lockers, dual shower head, larger storage containers, and it even goes into detail about contractor payments and dumpsters. In the center of your screen, you can see the cost of a single component 
and then on the right side of that column in the center, you see the count, and it's an estimated exactly how many lockers or how many dumpsters or how many removal of walls, doors, or additions of walls or doors that we need in the locker room. And on the far right, you see the total cost that was calculated. Here is the final slide of breaking the physical budget down of the locker room. Uh, this is just showing the links of where each component is being brought from, such as Home Depot or Home Advisor or Wayfair, Ikea, Amazon, or Uline. Here is the estimated tools and equipment budget. This shows exactly how much the tools and equipment of the locker room will cost, such as safety gear, carts, power drills, hammers, wooden beams, nail rubber, etc., which comes to an estimated cost of $851.55. And then the total cost between both the tools and equipment and the budget for the locker room itself comes to a total of $52,310.21, which can be seen here in the red block. And all the tools and equipment were brought from Home Depot, and the link is here in this rod box on the right side as well. Current image displays only an estimated budget on tools and equipment, will, which will be subject to change as well as the process moves along. So here we are at the construction of the physical prototype. The team decided to use cardboard sheets and foam board in the construction of the prototype. The team took the Revit design on the right hand of your screen, took measurements from that Revit model and used that in the construction of the physical prototype and converted it to a scale measurement, which was one inch equals two feet. Now along the process, we had run into a speed bump of the original Revit model measurements were off and the original design was off as well. So the team had to reassess, remeasure, and redo the entire process as you see on the left-hand screen. This is the new final floor plan with updated measurements and updated floor plan. And on the right side of your screen, you see the feet and inches of the actual wall in the locker room. And then you have the scale measurement, which is our one inch equals two feet on the right side of the Here you can see the actual physical construction of the prototype. On the left side of the picture, or the left side of the screen, you can see that the foam boards are actually coming together as walls itself. You can see very faintly on the walls, there are measurements marked out which were crucial into the creation of the actual physical prototype. On the right side of your screen, you see the double stacked wide, and in the center, you see the varsity lockers, which made out of cardboard for easier contrast within the locker room. Cardboard was used for lockers and the foam board was used as base and walls of the locker room. This offered contrast with the materials used in the prototype. The prototype was built together by using hot glue and tape when necessary. These materials ensured that the model would stay together for the presentation and for movement. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch this video and see the, the final solution of the new locker room design being created through development, research, and then finally the construction of prototype. Don't forget to fill out the attached peer review sheet. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.